All right, we're going to learn how to partition a segment on a coordinate plane. You should have this worksheet, um, a something to write with, a ruler, and your calculator. So the first thing they want you to do is plot two points on the grid above. Point A is going to be at negative two, three, negative three, negative two, negative three, and we'll label that with an A and plot point B, which is at 10, 6. 10, 6. All right, go ahead and take your ruler and connect that. We're going to make line segment A, B. So partitioning a segment is you're going to find a point on this segment that is a certain fraction away from the other point. And usually the fraction is something not as simple as like a half. It's going to be like thirds, fourths, fifths. We did this before without a grid, so now we're just going to learn how to do it on a grid. And the best way to do it is to use slope. So let's read the next question. It says locate the point on AB that is a third of the way from A to B label it C and state the coordinates. So what we want to do is we want to go and find somewhere along this line a point C that is a third of the way to B. And I'm thinking it'll probably be right around here but I'm not sure exactly where it is so slope is going to help us to find where that point's going to be. So when I talk about slope we're talking about rise of a run. So you can do it one of two ways. You could do the actual slope work off to the side here or you could just draw your right triangle to show the rise and the run and count how many squares that is. So if I count how many squares vertically we see right here, I get 9. And if I count how many squares horizontally across here, I get 12. So that means that my my rise is 9, or my vertical distance is 9, and my run, or my horizontal distance, is 12. So we need to think about the fraction that they want us to break it up into. So they want you to go a third of the way. Well, finding a third of the way on a diagonal line is kind of challenging, but finding a third of the way on a vertical or horizontal line is really easy. You just take those squares and divide it into a third. You multiply the rise by a third and the run by a third and you can locate where that would be. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to multiply the rise and run by one third. Okay, so the rise would be nine times one third and you can grab your calculator for that or 9 times a third is just 3 and you're going to take your run which is 12 and you're going to multiply that by a third and you should get 4. So the next thing is to know whether we're going to start at A or start at B and that's something we're going to re look at the directions. It says you want to be a third of the way from A to B. So that's why we kind of looked from A to B. We said it'd be like maybe around here-ish because we want to go a third of the way here. So you're really making it into a one-third, two-thirds partition. So starting at A, we want to rise three and run four. These two numbers are telling us the location that'll be a third of the way along our rise and run. So that's all you have to do. Go to A and rise three, one, two, three, and run four, one, two, three, four. And you might have already guessed it that it was going to be here, but that is going to be point C, which, oops, if you look at the coordinates, is two, zero. So we can write that in here, two, zero. And that is one third, this is one third, and this is two-thirds. So we've partitioned the segment. All right, another question. Locate the point on AB that is a ratio of two to one 
from A to B, label it D, and state the coordinates. So a ratio of 2 to 1 is written a little different than a fraction because ratios are a different way of thinking about fractions. What you actually want to think about is that we're breaking it up into two parts to one part. Unlike a fraction, which is one part to three whole. So if we look up here, we have one, and then there's a two, three whole pieces, and we've broken it up into one thirds and two thirds. Well, this one says you want to break it up into two parts to one part. So if you want to think about it as a fraction, two and one would total up to three whole, and we want to break it into two to one, so the first one needs to be at two. So since we've actually already done the work to break it up into thirds, it should be really easy to break it up into uh, two thirds. So you're just going to take the same rise and run. Oops. The rise was nine, and multiply it by two thirds, and you get six. And take the run, which was twelve, and multiply that by two thirds. get 8. So now we're going to go over to our picture and hopefully not mess it up too much. It says again to go from A to B. So from A we're going to rise 6 like our new 2 thirds says. So 3, 4, 5, 6 and we're going to run 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 should land on the line. If you do it correctly, it should land on the line. And now what we've done is point D is breaking up the whole red line here in the ratio of 2 to 1. There's two before it, two pieces before it, and one piece behind it. So that's a 2 to uh, 1 ratio. And the coordinates for that are, um, it looks like 6, 3. Okay, so that's how to partition a segment in two ways. One where they give you the fraction, which tells you the part whole, you just multiply right by the fraction. And the other way is if they give you it as a ratio, you have to change that into a fraction. Just add up the two parts, that goes on the bottom, and then the first number goes on top, and then you'll just do it the same way, multiplying your rise and run by the fraction.